worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, touching every life. I worship you. I worship you. Because you are our way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, 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 you are here. Touching every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are way maker, miracle worker. Promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hallelujah. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are.
darkness like God that is to you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. 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 If you've been checking out uh, Brother Joseph's videos, it's really, uh, really clear uh, what's going on on there. So, uh, you know, it's the same uh, message as preached on the Facebook there. Uh, but amen. It's a blessing. Amen. amen. All right, we're in Genesis chapter 24, and we're going to conclude with it tonight. 67 verses in uh, the Genesis 24, which makes it the longest chapter in the book of Genesis. It's also one of the longest chapters in your Bible. It, it's the quest for the bride of Isaac, which is uh, a type of Isaac being the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and his bride to be a Gentile bride that he seeks after a Syrian woman. Amen? Amen? His kindred. And so we've been looking at that, and we got all the way up to verse number 29. Of Genesis chapter number 24, verse number 29. So we looked at the first time we met, we looked at the... Uh, the, uh, the calling out of the bride of Christ in this dispensation. In verses 1 through uh, 9, we had the commission. 
verses uh, 10 through 14, we had the prayer. Amen. And uh, number three, the meeting, verses 15 through 28. And that's where we stopped at the last time we met, and so we're going on. And most of it is uh, self uh, exclamatory, you know, it would just be a lot of reading, and then we're going to uh, give you some favorites in there, some uh, things to it. Uh, I call them, uh, let's see, uh, uh, some things we can learn. You know, what's up is written for is written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Amen. The scriptures bring hope, man. That's why you got to be in the Bible. You can't walk around and say, well, let me see what the Lord's got for me today. Go to Gilgal and sin. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That ain't how it's done, man. You read that book from Genesis to Revelation, amen, and you get a good overview of what God is doing in history and prophetically and everything that's going on. Tonight, to chapter 24 is one of these great chapters in the book of Genesis, and uh, it deals with the type of the church. Whoever wrote Genesis 24 was not, Moses might have pinned it down, but it was God Almighty who gave you a look into the near future, amen, of the church and Christ, his, uh, Christ the head and the church his body, amen. amen. All right, so we're in verse number 29. We have the testimony of one person, Rebecca. So I looked up Rebecca, what it means. I wish it had been a, a short definition, but it's not. Uh, the meaning, a animal connection applied to a female her beauty is captivating, Rebecca. If her name means a noose cord, a noose cord, the noose is firmly around Isaac's neck. So when Isaac told, uh, took her into his mother's tent, he forgot about the grief of his dead mother. So she was really a great comfort. And, you know, I got to looking, because I named one of my daughters Rebecca. And I got to looking at that definition on that thing, and I'm saying, that is that girl right there, man. I mean, I was amazed as I was reading it uh, on the definition of her name. Now, Laban is easy. It means white or glorious. Amen. That's what Laban means. We'll pick it up in verse number 29. We call this the testimony. Rebecca had a brother, and his name was Laban. Laban. And Laban ran out unto the man, unto the well. And it came to pass when he saw the earring and the bracelets upon his sister's hands. Now the wrist is part of the hand, okay? When the Catholics show you the picture of Jesus Christ, they have the nails going right through his hand. Well, eventually he would have pulled completely through that as he was lifting up trying to breathe. So the hand wrist here is part of the hand. And so they drove those nails there so that it would hold that body on that cross. And that's why he said, that's why it's saying here on his sister's hands, which was a wrist. And when he heard the words of Rebekah, his sister, saying, Thus spake the man unto me, that he came unto, uh, that he came unto the man, and he, behold, he stood by the camels at the well. Amen. Now, I didn't get to tell you about camels, man, but there was ten of them. That's the number of a Gentile. Uh, first Gentile in the Bible to get saved like you and I is a fellow by the name of Cornelius. And he gets saved, and of course the number 10 uh, goes all the way back to Genesis 10. It deals with the number of the Gentiles. So the Gentile number is 10, amen. And so he just so happens to bring 10 camels with him, amen. And not only did Rebecca uh, give him water to drink, we read that in the previous uh, verses there, but she gave to every camel a drink. Now most people think the humps, carry water. They don't. Amen. The humps carry fat and stuff like that in it. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, a, a, a camel, if he's thirsty, can drink up to 30 gallons of water. 
depending on how thirsty they were, Rebecca had a pot in her hand, and she went down to the well, draw that water out after she gave uh, the, the servant the water, and then carried it up there and, and had all ten camels to drink. Amen. I'll tell you what, she was a busy woman. Amen. Boy, she was running, of course, she was young too, amen, but she was running back and forth. 30 gallons. Say them old boys, with 30 gallons times 10, what is that, 300 gallons? How many gallons was she carrying up there to it? I'm telling you, she stayed busy feeding them camels, giving them camels drink, amen. Amen. What a blessing. So that's a picture of the church. Amen. She is. The church has got to be busy. The Lord said, I got to work while it's day, for the night comes when no man can work. That day is cussed around the corner, man. And by the way, I loved your preaching last night, man. I'm going to tell you, you stirred my heart up with all those things you got up in there, amen, and preaching at your, your people, man, amen. I couldn't have said half the things he said. I'd have been on the street beat to death, amen. But anyway... Amen. But anyway, I tell you, man, he hit every rock singer, every one of their icons, man. I mean, amen. He made the Mexicans mad, amen. So you know we was getting that all done, amen. But I tell you, I enjoyed it, man. I really did. Hallelujah. And I love, listen, I love preaching. I love street preaching, amen. I love to get out there and tell them what Jesus did, amen. And all that wonderful name has to be. But anyway, let me go on now. Amen. The testimony. The Bible said in verse 31, And he said, Come in, thou blessed of the Lord. Wherefore standest thou without? For I have prepared the house and room for the camels. And the man came unto the house, and he girded his camels, and gave straw and provender for his camels, and, and water uh, to wash his feet. See, he didn't give them, have to give them anything to drink. They've already drank 30 gallons of water apiece. Amen. <laughs> so he just gives them straw and provender to eat. Amen. And, to wash to, and water to wash his feet and the men's feet that were with him. Now, foot washing. Uh, our free will Baptist brethren, they have it as an ordinance. Amen. A lot of churches have dropped into it and used it there. But foot washing was, co uh, was common in the oriental countries, amen, as they were out there walking and they came in with sandals, they say, on their feet, amen. First thing they did, gave them a bowl of water to wash their feet, amen. Foot washing, quite common. I think our Muslims uh, do uh, foot washing also, amen. And so it's an oriental custom still practiced in the world by Muslims and Orientals. And now we come to verses uh, 33 through 50, which are self-explanatory, and is repeated what we had read in the first meeting over here. Amen. You know, repetition is the best way to learn the Bible. That's why once you go through it one time, you don't stop it one time. You go back and go through it the second time. If that book's a spiritual book, and it is... If it's quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, and it is, and it's a, if it's alive, for the Word of God is quick and powerful and alive, amen, then one time ain't going to be enough, brethren. Amen. As you get old in the Lord, you want to try to get through that Bible, amen. I'd hate to get up to the judgment seat of Christ and you stand before the Lord and say, why wasn't you a Bible reader? I gave you a book that preserved this country? Somebody shout, amen. Not the new Bibles. That old King James Bibles preserved this country, man. Amen. I'm telling you right now, amen. Been here 400 plus years, and that old cadence is still sounded out by Bible-believing preachers. Amen. Oh, boy. Stepped on somebody's toes tonight. Amen. Amen. I had a fellow up here by the name of Newman. New man. Amen. He came to our church and got saved. Amen. And old Brother Harden was a preaching and got him up there to the altar and got him saved. And he had one of them NIVs. Amen. 
He said, listen, you are a new man in Christ Jesus, so I'm going to give you the Holy Bible you need. Amen. Gave him a King James Bible. He took that old NIV and throwed it in the trash can. I don't know who did it, but somebody in my church got that Bible out of that trash can. I don't know who it was, but I'll tell you right now, I should have left it in there. Somebody shout amen. 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 Some folks get offended over that. (laughs) Tough it up, man. Get some tough skin, man. Come on, man. Quit sucking pacifiers, amen. You ain't no baby anymore. God wants you to grow in Christ, amen. To the stature and fullness of Christ, amen. Christ had tough skin, man. He had to be calling them Pharisees a bunch of uh, uh, d- whatever he called them, snakes and vipers and all that stuff. Amen. Boy, they hated him too. He was almost as hate, much hated as Donald Trump. Somebody shout, Amen. <laughs> he was even more hated. He said, "If the world hates you, you know it hated me before it hated you." You are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Therefore, the world hated you. Amen. Praise God. I don't even know if I'm going to get through this chapter tonight. Amen. (laughs) All these rabbit trails are coming, Jimmy. A new man. Where'd that come from? He ain't been in my church in 25 years. Amen. Brother Newman, amen, I'll never get forget him, man. Bless his heart. I hope he's still serving God. I hope he's still reading the King James Bible. I hope he's still in church, amen. amen. I hope all that. Amen. amen. Well, he goes on to say there in verse 33, And there was set meat before him to eat, and he said, I will not eat until I have, mine, uh, have told mine errand, And he said, speak on. And he said, I am Abraham's servant. Amen. Now you see the Holy Spirit is the Eliezer. He's a type of the Holy Spirit. Abraham's a type of God the Father. Isaac's a type of of, uh, the the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And you see uh, the Spirit giving glory to the Father. Amen. He said, he doesn't lift up himself. He lifts up Abraham. Verse 35, And the Lord hath blessed my master greatly. He hath become great, and he hath given him flocks and herds, silver and gold. Buddy, when he come up out of Egypt, he was a rich man. And in Egypt, if it can make you compromise, it'll give you what it has in it. Amen. But Abraham was wealthy. Matter of fact, we read back in 21, he was very rich. Amen. Praise the Lord. And men servants and maid servants and camels and asses. Amen. That's a donkey. Amen. I don't believe in changing the Bible. Because we got a bunch of dumb asses walking around today. Somebody shout. Amen. Oh, he's cursing in the pulpit. Amen. I've met a bunch of them. Amen. <laughs> Somebody shout, Amen. And Sarah, my master's wife, bare a son to my master when she was old. Yeah, ninety-nine. Amen. And unto him hath given he given all that he hath. And my master made me swear, saying, Yeah, underneath the thigh, not between the thighs, underneath the thigh. Amen. That's where he made him swear at because that's a man's strength in his loins. Amen. Down there. Amen. Amen. Take them new Bibles and throw it out because they put sex in there. Amen. Between the thigh. Get out of here, man. My God. Sarah, my master's wife, bare him a son to my master uh, when she was old, and unto him hath he given all that he hath. Verse 37. And my master made me swear, saying, Thou shalt not take a wife uh, to the son of the daughters of the Canaanites in whose land I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my father's house and to my kindred and take a wife 
unto my son. And I said unto my master, peradventure, or perhaps, the woman will not be willing to follow me. And he said unto me, the Lord before whom I walk, oh baby, well, we'll send his angel with thee, amen. I'm telling you, I'm glad that the Lord, uh, uh, the, that the angel of the Lord encamps around about them that fear him, amen. 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 You believe in angels, Brother Gibson, you better believe so. I've seen some, amen. And they didn't have wings on their back, amen. They wasn't 40 foot tall, amen. They looked like a man, amen. And buddy, I'm going to tell you, they had more respect for the Word of God when Jimmy talked to that angel over there and he looked at Jimmy and said, the Word of God is something else. Tears coming out of his face, man. When's the last time we wept over that book? I said we. I said we. Amen. Amen. Mm-mm-mm. My master, uh, that, uh, I'll say, where am I at? Verse 37. 40, 40. Amen. Peradventure, yeah, perhaps the woman will not follow me. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee and prosper thy way. Amen. That old angel's out there leading, buddy. I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a prosperous way no matter which you're going as long as you follow Jesus. Amen. That's why the Bible says, Be ye followers of Christ, even if I also be ye followers of me as I am also of Christ. Amen. 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 He don't need no imitators. We got enough of those in Hollywood. Amen. And now they got into politics. They need to shut up and keep, to keep their acting going. Amen. Because they're terrible politicians. Amen. All the song. I'm, 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 uh, when, when that one little girl's made so much money off of young people, she goes, I'm voting for Bernie. <laughs> what is her name? Oh, yeah, you know the one that uh, started at 17 or uh, so far. I'll think of it later. Amen. Oh, yeah, I got a picture of her. She said, oh, we got to get Bernie in the Capitol. <laughs> you, hey, he's going to take your money if he does. Amen. He's going to take and get the money from the rich and give it to the poor. I'll take it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Boy, I walk, uh, will the send his angel with thee and prosper thy way, and thou shalt uh, take a wife for my son of my, of my kindred and of my father's house. Now, he's doing all this before he sits down and eat. Now, if it had been me, Jimmy, and Joseph, we'd have been all eating and talking while we were eating. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Amen. We get out of here and say amen. We're heading to the door. Amen. Amen. Going to get that uh, that, uh, that uh, fajita. Amen. Praise God. Uh, verse 41. Then shalt thou be clear from this thy, my oath when thou comest to my kindred. And, and if, they, if they give not thee one, thou shalt be clear from this oath. And I came this day unto the well and said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, if now I do, uh, if I, if thou do prosper my way uh, which I go, behold, I stand by the well of the water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin, Amen, Amen. that little girl was a virgin, Amen. cometh forth to draw water, and by the way, the devil hates purity, right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hates it. Why? Because the Lord was a virgin when he came born of a virgin. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 7, 14. Somebody quoted. Amen. I had it on my head there and I couldn't remember it. Uh, wherefore the Lord. Uh, uh, anyway, amen. Uh, a virgin. Amen. And of course, that Isaiah 17 uh, talks about that 700 years before Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. Amen. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Cometh forth to draw water and say to her, Give me, I pray thee, verse 43, a little water of thy uh, pitcher to drink. So he's rehearsing all this. 
And she said to me, Both drink thou, and I will draw for thy camels. Amen. I wish she probably wish she never uh, said that. Amen. <laughs> Let the same be the woman whom the Lord hath appointed out of, of my master's son. Now, buddy, I'm going to tell you this prayer is answered. Amen. Uh, amen. 2014. Look at that. J uh, chapter 20, verse 14. And let it come to pass uh, that the damsel of whom I shall say, Let down thy pitcher, I pray thee that I may drink. And she shall say, Drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she that thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. And therefore shall I know that thou hast showed kindness unto my master. Ah, oh boy, what a thing, huh? How many prayers have we prayed and still waiting on it to be answered? Amen. 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 Well, just keep praying. That's all I know to do. Amen. Amen. So we see here, uh, we see here that on this uh, on this verse now that uh, that the response is coming. Amen. 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 And so uh, here, uh, then Laban. Uh, I think I'm on verse number four, forty and fifty. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing proceeded from the Lord. We cannot speak unto thee bad or good. Look at that. That means God's in it. Amen. Amen. When you can't speak bad or good about something that's getting ready to go on, that means God's in it. Amen. Amen. And that's the same thing that's going to happen to Laban when he comes over there after Jacob, after he takes his children and his cows and everything like that, and he gets over there, and old Laban finally catches up to him. He said, the Lord came to me last night and said, don't you speak bad or good to that man. Amen. If God says something, you better listen. Amen. Amen. All right, now we want to look at this, the response in verse number 51. Amen. Amen. Behold, Rebekah is before thee. Take her and go and let her be thy master's son's wife as the Lord has spoken. They, man, after this old fellow laid that testimony on them, they said, take her, man. The woman didn't have much of a say-so, but I'm going to show you the free will of man in this passage. And it came to pass that when Abraham's servant heard their words, he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. I'll tell you one thing about the Muslims, buddy. You can say all you want to say about them, but three times a day they get out on their knees and they bow themselves down to God. Amen. The Jews are going up to the wall putting prayer things in there. Amen. And wailing back and forth. Amen. Amen. But I'll tell you, bowed and worshipped. Bowing your head's a form of worship. Amen. Amen. Getting down on your knees or flat on your belly. Amen. And worshiping God. He loves it. He won't refuse it. He won't tell you to get up, child. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. He'll worship. He wants worship. He desires worship. Amen. And we're going to worship Him for all eternity. Amen. Even in a glorified body fashion like unto His glorious body, we're going to worship the Lord God of heaven. Amen. Praise God. So what are you doing now? We're practicing for it. Amen. Amen. Getting some practice in. Amen. Bowing our head, bowing our knee, getting on flat on our face, whatever, amen. And worshiping the Lord. Hallelujah. What a blessing. Verse 53, And the servant brought forth jewels of silver and jewels of gold, raiment, and gave them to Rebekah. He gave also her brother and her mother uh, precious things. Boy, he came with gifts, Amen. And camels, ten of them were bearing gifts, amen. Oh, well, Abe said, listen, I want to get, make sure you get me a, a wife out of the, my a kindred, amen. Brought all that thing there. And they did eat and drink, amen. After they said, let her go. Now he's eating. Thank God he's finally eating, amen. 
And they did eat and drink, he and the men that were with him, and tarried all night. And they rose up early, uh, rose up in the morning. And he said, send me away to my master. Oh, Doc put this in the center margin over there, type of the Holy Spirit's work in this age. It's nighttime. Amen. The days are dark. Amen. When Jesus comes and gets to church, it's going to be daytime. Amen. It's going to be because God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. Amen. And right now we're to work for the night is coming when no man can work. Amen. Especially if Biden gets in in 2020. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen, brother. Yes, sir. Amen. If anybody in here voting for Biden, I'm going to throw you out of the church. Amen. <laughs> yeah, you too that's watching me on the YouTube. I'm on the channel there. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're having a good time tonight. I don't care who you vote for. Go vote. Amen. That's all I care about. Amen. That's, a, that's something that's been given to you. That's a right man that you can go and vote. Amen. Express your opinion. If you ain't signed up, get signed up. Amen. All right. Uh, my master. So uh, this is a type of the Spirit's work in this age at night with the rapture in the morning. Amen. Oh, what a blessing that's going to be. Amen. Hallelujah. 55. And uh, her brother and her mother said, Let the damsel abide with us a few days, at least ten. After that she shall go. And he said unto them, Hinder me not, seeing the Lord hath prospered our way. Send me away that I may go to my master. And they said, We will call the damsel and require at her mouth. And they called Rebecca and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. Amen. Amen. I will go. Notice the will. Yeah. The will is set to go, see? Amen. I like what Doc wrote in there on this thing. Uh, she answered, Well, if she was in the 21st century, this is what the women would say. Amen. Now listen to this now. And she answered, well, I won't say whether I will go or whether I won't go. Or no, our parents are of a different belief. Or I don't think I can hold out until the end. Or I just don't have the right feeling. Or I just hasn't struck me right yet. Or I, 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 or I want to think it over. Or what will I do with my dear friends at the first Babylonian church that I'm leaving? Or what, why should I not in the, uh, and am I not a great sinner? Or don't think I can live it, blow forth, and so on. We call those excuses. She said, I will go. Young, tender, amen, a virgin, amen. She said, I will go. Amen. Mission accomplished. Amen. I always like the mission when it's accomplished. Amen. Verses 59 through 67. And they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said unto her, Thou art our sister. Be thou, watch it, the mother of thousands of millions, and let thy seed possess the gate of those that hate them. Amen. This woman right here is going to give you the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. Uh, through uh, Jacob. Amen. Give you the 12 tribes of Israel. Amen. And there one of these days they're going to become the head when they go into the millennium. Amen. And the old Gentiles are going to be grabbing by the coattail. Uh, let's say, let me in with you. For we heard God is with you. Amen. Amen. God is with you. <laughs> Means, and let thy seed possess the gate of those that hate them. Verse 61. 
And Rebecca arose and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels and followed the man. And the servant took Rebecca and went his way. And Isaac came from the well of uh, from the way of the well Lohero. Lohe, Lohiro, uh, somebody pronounce it, amen. <laughs> it means the living one that, uh, that, uh, uh, that beholds me, amen. For he had dwelt in the south country. And Isaac went out on, to meditate. That's another word for prayer. Uh, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word with my whole heart have I sought thee. O let me not wander from thy law. Amen. It also says in Joshua that this book of the law shall not depart of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest prosper. Amen. And be, hey, prosper. And be good success. What? In the book. Amen. Amen. I mean, you ought to know more about this book than Disney's books. Amen. Amen. Harry Potter, all them crazy things he's... Pre- Amen. He hit them all down there. Amen. Talk about Harry Potter and all that mysticism that our kids are being dumped into today. Amen. God help them. Amen. Thank God for that, brother. I want you to do me an outline on it. I'm going to follow it the next time. Amen. And Isaac went out to meditate. Amen. In the field at evening tide. He lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, the camels were coming. Amen. When he saw them ten camels coming, amen, uh, he said, oh, my God, it's a success. Amen. He didn't say, oh, oh man, they're coming. I don't know if she, I don't know if my bride's going. I don't know. Amen. No. He was rejoicing, man. Amen. And Rebecca lifted off her uh, and Isaac, and Rebecca lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she lighted off the camel. I heard a preacher say one time, yeah, she got down off and lit up her camel. Amen. <laughs> lighted off her camel. What's going on, Amen? <laughs> Humor, man. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> For she had said unto her servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. <coughs> and covered herself. Note the separation as the end time draws near. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I mean, uh, that, that's a biblical thing there, separation. Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. What fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Amen. 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 Separation. Amen. Amen. As we get closer to the Lord coming back, we ought to be more separate. We ought to be more different. Amen. We want to, we want to say, hey, man, I'm not of this world. Amen. 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 This world is not my home. I'm just passing through. Amen. 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 Mission accomplished. Amen. And the servant uh, told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac... Oh, I'm sorry, uh, verse uh, 65. And she had said unto the servant, What man is this uh, that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. And the servant told Isaac all things that he had done. And Isaac brought her into his mother's tent, at Sarah's tent, and took Rebekah, and she became his wife, and he loved her. And Isaac was comforted after his mother's death. Amen. There's no record of Rebekah dying. None at all. No record. We got the Sarah uh, going out, and then we have uh, 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 Rachel going out. Amen. Different ones dying in the Bible, but Rebekah, you won't find it anywhere that she died. Amen. 
So that's why she's a great picture of the church. Amen. I mean, uh, not the church is universal. I mean, those that die in Christ, they're in heaven. They, they, they pass through the shadow of death. Amen. Amen. Uh, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And so we got Rebecca uh, uh, not dying, although there is a record of Sarah and Rachel dying. This reinforces the material we gave you in the two genealogies of Genesis chapter 5 and Matthew chapter 1. Rebecca is a type of the body of Christ. The New Testament believes in the body who died shall live and will never die if they are alive when Jesus Christ comes back. Amen. Amen. I'm looking for him to come back. I, I may have to see death. No man knows the day or the hour on that one either. Amen. <laughs> but I may have to see it. But anyway, we could be alive when Jesus comes, man. And be changed in a moment in the twinkling of the eye at the last trump. Amen. Woo! That don't make you shout. Your shout is busted. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. In verse 67, this is a typical fulfillment of Japheth dwelling in the tents of Shem. You remember that back in Genesis chapter 9? The Japheth, the European, will dwell in the tents of Shem. This is a temporary fulfillment. And then when they come to America, Shem is already here as the Indian, but yet the Japheth, the European, comes in and dwells in their tents. Amen. Conclusion. Listen up. In this chapter, you learn God is selective and particular with regards to anyone. Amen. Look at verses, uh, chapter, verse, chapter 24, verse 3. He said, I will make thee swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of the earth, that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. But thou shalt go unto my kindred and my, uh, my country and my kindred and take a wife unto my uh, son Isaac. And uh, the servant said unto him, Peradventure the woman will not be willing to follow me uh, unto this land. Must I needs bring uh, thy uh, son again unto the land from whence thou camest? And Abraham said unto him, Beware that thou, that thou bring not my son thither again. Amen. Amen. God is selective in particular with whom with regards to anyone. Salvation is free will. Look at verse number 58. 58 of the same chapter. And they called Rebekah and said unto her, Wilt thou go with this man? And she said, I will go. The last, listen, as the body has five senses, I believe uh, that the soul has five senses. Amen. And there's the last sense of the Holy, before the Holy Spirit will come in. It's the free will of man or the free will of the woman. She or he has to let Jesus Christ come in. God is not going to mess with the free will. Amen. The free will of man is operating today. They can say no to Jesus or they can say yes to Jesus Amen. if they want to. Amen. Amen. And then as a Christian, you have the same will, man. God will not go with it. If he tells you to do something, you say, I ain't going. He'll just say, well, go ahead, man. I'll get somebody else. Amen. Amen. Free will of man. Amen. And that's all through the Bible. There's no Calvinist in the Bible. Amen. You don't know about Calvinism. There's no elect. Amen. Some people ain't elected to go to heaven. Some people elected to go to hell. Every man makes a decision of his own free will. Amen. 
God wants a clean woman for his son. Look at verse number 16. Verse number 16, a clean woman. And the damsel was very fair to look upon a virgin. Neither had, he, neither had any man known her so, uh, sexual activity. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. And that's the way the church is today. Go to, uh, go to 2 Corinthians chapter number 11. 2 Corinthians chapter number 11. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter number 11. Watch it. Would to God you could bear with me a, a little in my folly and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. Who's he talking about? The church, man. Uh, God is a jealous God. Amen. Amen. If he calls you out of this world, he wants you to stay out of it. Amen. Amen. He wants you to preach against it. Amen. Testify against it. That all their deeds that they're doing is evil. Amen. Godly jealousy. Watch it. For I have espoused you to one husband. Engagement man. That I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. The consummation comes at the marriage supper of the Lamb where we're finally consummated, amen. All eyes, amen, are on the bridegroom, not the bride, because we're the bride of Christ, amen. Boy, I'm going to tell you, what a day that's going to be, amen. What a day, amen. She must have room for him. Look at verse number 25, the church, man. We're talking about the church, amen. She must have room. A room. Let me go back to Genesis 24, amen, in verse number 25. She's got to have room for him. The Bible says, and uh, um, I'm doing in Exodus, man, 25, amen, verse 25, uh, verse 25. She said, moreover unto him, we have both straw and provender enough and room to lodge in. I like that song. There's room at the cross for you. There's room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still room for one. There's room at the cross for you. you got to make room for him, man. Amen. When he moves in, the devil's moving out. Amen. Uh, they, God and the devil can't live together, man. One's got to go. Amen. And if you choose Christ, the Lord is coming in and the devil's moving out. Amen. 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 Somebody shout. Amen. <laughs> Amen. She must have room for him. And there's room at the cross. Amen. The king's business is important. It's so important. Look at verse number 33. Chapter chapter 24, verse 33. And there was set meat before him to eat. And he said, I will not eat until I have told mine errand. And he said, speak on. God's business is the most important business. Amen. We ought to be busy with the Lord's work. Amen. Whether it's passing out a track, opening our mouth. Amen. Cutting the head off. Amen, Jimmy. Amen. Getting them in. But listen, uh, we must be about the Father's business, Jesus said. The night's coming when no man can work, man. Amen. We better enjoy this liberty we got. While we got it. Amen. We got liberty down on the streets uh, last night, brother. Amen. 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 Hey, I don't know what's going to happen, amen, when they come and start locking us up. Well, I won't live long because if you don't give me my blood pressure medicine, I'm dead. Amen. (laughs) Praise God. Somebody shout amen. 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 They can't torture me but so much. Now, some of you healthy things like Jimmy Flasky, you're going to get it, buddy. 
The bride goes his way, not hers. The bride goes his way, not hers. Amen. Ain't no 50-50 in the marriage. God rules the home. Or God, the man will wreck the home. One or the other. Amen. 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 Ain't that right, Ms. Gibson? Amen. That's a good woman there. She knows her place. And I know mine too. So. <laughs> Yeah, man. Amen. Amen. But anyway, uh, uh, the bride has goes his way and not hers. Look at verse 61. Verse 61, and Rebecca arose and her damsels, and they rode upon the camels and followed the man. Amen. We are told to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Be ye followers of me as I am also of Christ. Amen. Follow the Lord. Don't let Him lead you, man. Amen. Don't get behind Him, but try to stay beside Him. Don't get ahead of Him. Amen. Amen. Follow, follow. Follow, follow. I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow Him. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere he leads me, I will follow him. Follow him, man. That's the bride, amen. The bride follows, amen. Amen. Number seven, the last one. The bride, a type. Uh, the, the bride goes his way, not hers. She's a follower. The bride, a type of the church, is supposed to cover herself. That is separation and sanctification. Amen. Uh, at the t- as the time for her meeting with her Lord approaches. Amen. And I didn't write the verse down for that. I'm sorry about that. Amen. 65, maybe so. For she had said unto the servant, What man is this that walketh in the field to meet us? And the servant had said, It is my master. Therefore she took a veil and covered herself. There it is, the veil. And so today, amen. You know there's a veil over the Jew's heart today. Amen. And, and, and that veil was already torn in the temple from the top to the bottom. That means God tore that veil. That veil was that thick, man, in that, uh, in that uh, uh, Herod's temple, amen. And God took that thing when the resurrection had happened from the top, amen, all the way down, allowing us to come into the holy place, amen, and worship the God of heaven, amen. Amen. We have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God, amen. Amen. Access, amen. Into this grace. Thank God when that veil came down. Amen. And today the Jewish people have a veil over their heart. But when they trust Christ. Amen. That veil is torn down. Amen. And I love my Jewish brethren. Uh, Messianic brethren, uh, Richard K., uh, Brother uh, uh, Gordon, and all them, man, they're pure-blooded Jews, and they have trusted Christ, and they love to talk about Him. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you, old Richard missed his calling. Amen. Tell you what, buddy, he can get it on, man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Well, that's the seven things we learned from this chapter. Amen. Picture of a, amen, Christ and his church. And I want to say, whoever wrote that chapter, amen, saw the church, amen, almost almost 4,000 years, always completed. 
And you can't say man wrote the Bible. Well, man did write it. Holy men of God wrote it. Amen. But that was God pinning it down. So you and I in this dispensation can look back and say, Woo! Glory to God. Amen. All right, let's stand and we'll be dismissed.